Rockwell Pennington, Juliana Pena for the women's bantamweight title here at UFC 307. And it doesn't get better than this. Both fighters in the center of the octagon <clears throat> getting the instructions. Pena bouncing around. She's ready to go. And we're ready for five rounds. I hope it doesn't go five, but we're ready. Got Jason Herzog as the ref. Both fighters come together. Here we go. Yep, it's going to be one of those rounds where they're both just going to feel each other out. I can tell already. Pena needs to get into the clinch. I want to see what she can do. If, uh, from that perspective, see if Pennington can defend the takedowns, defend the positions. I mean, she's a champ for a reason, but that's where Pena has an advantage. I mean, she submitted Amanda Nunez. Don't, let's not forget. And this is probably the last fight <clears throat> of the five in the main card that the crowd thinks is going to get to a big finish. So, starting to get a little jittery if they aren't, weren't already there in the last two fights. But booing throughout the Bautista-Aldo fight. Oh, big left jab by Pennington. Now right by Pena. Let's go Pena. Come on, Pena. Rocky looked like she got some power early. Remember, we haven't seen Pena in a while. I mean, she's been absent. That's how Pennington got the... These two could have fought a year ago. But instead, Pennington... Beating Bueno Silva, taking the belt, vacant belt. And as we said all this week in the lead up, this is the fight that she needs to win to be a bona fide champion. Because now you're facing a former champ that lost to Nunez. Took her a while to get back. And a lot of questions, really. But for Pennington, if you can win this fight, you're a bona fide champ. But you got Kayla Harrison now coming. It never gets easier. You know, go figure. If you can win this, you beat a former champ, and then you, now you got to deal with Kayla Harris, who's no joke. So very slow pace first round, feeling each other out. And you get this in title fights. I mean, they both know it's potentially five rounds. Nobody wants to make the big mistake early. You don't want to empty the gas tank in the first round, obviously. But you also got to fight. And it seems like Pena's struggling to find her footing, her range. But when you look at the numbers, she's already leading. She's up 17, 13 in significant strikes. So it doesn't appear that she's leading, but she is. Now another job by Pena. And Rocky's coming in, but she's she's missing, although she lands an uppercut right there. For the most part, she's missing. It's Pena's keeping her head off the center line. 120 left, round one. Get off the fence, Pena. Get off the fence. Dang. You know, I didn't think Pena would stand and strike with her, but she is. I thought she'd go in for the takedown early and often. But late into round one, we haven't even seen an attempt. Very close round here. Ooh, 
Ouf. Both fighters are sitting on their heels. Big left by Pennington. There's a tap for round one. And yeah, we're not seeing much here, but I think we're going to see a pickup in round two for sure. <clears throat> As a big right landed by Pena after taking a leg kick, and that's the end of round one. And booze fill the arena. They want some action. Remember, this is the place where Uzman got taken down by Leon Edwards. They're, they're, they're used to seeing big things, right? Salt Lake City is used to seeing big things. They do not want to see all these decisions and no action. So, At the same time, you know, you got some tough fights throughout the night. I mean... Kevin Holland trying to beat Roman, that was going to be tough just because, even though I'm a big Kevin Holland fan, just because Roman is so strong. Then you got Kayla Harrison taking on a tough Ketlin Vera. Great takedown defense. And, you know, at the end of the day, she dominated her, but couldn't get the finish. Then in the last fight, Aldo Bautista decision. So this crowd is, uh, as we've talked about, it's been building. The last big finish you had was Yaquin Buckley versus Stephen Thompson. So the crowd's going into the main card, pumped up. And then all of a sudden, everything slows down. Round two's underway. Both fighters really struggling to find their range. You know, in round one, you're not really totally going after it. You are... You shouldn't be, but you're pacing yourself. And that's what I'm afraid of when Hamza looking ahead to UFC 308, when Hamza fights Robert Whitaker. Five round fight, you got to go for it. You got to get after it right away. Forget five rounds. Let's get it done in one. And you don't got to worry about the endurance and all that, all those things everyone's talking about. But that's what's going on here. You know, both fighters just trying to settle in, get through a round or two, and then this thing is, you know, just going to get busier and busier throughout. But we haven't seen a lot of, we haven't seen any control time. It's been all striking. It's 29, 27 Pena as she works around the outside. And when I watch this, it's just hard to believe that Pena beat Nunez. I mean, where's his takedown game? Submission ability, where's all this? Is Pennington that good that you can't take her down? I don't think so. So what's going on? There, there we go. There's a the takedown. And the look in Pennington's eyes says it all. Because she didn't even realize she was going down until she hit the ground. And this is not a position you want to be with Pena. This is what I wanted to see. Now Pena pounding away with the left. Let's go, Pena. Let's go. Get that right leg over. Get the full mount now. Come on. A lot of time to work here, too. Over two and a half minutes left in the round. She's trying to set up the triangle here. Trying to set it up. She's in side control right now. Yeah, you got to get that right arm out. Right arm stuck. She's going to eventually, <clears throat> she's gonna eventually get it out. There it is. <clears throat> there it is. There it is. Yep. Now if she can step over to full, look out. Also, the rest have been stopping these positions, have been pulling the fighters up, mainly because the crowd's booing, it, booing and kind of forcing it earlier than it should be. So Pena's got to work here. Right now the crowd's fine with it.
There you go, Pain. You just hold this position. Hold this position. And then do something with it. 120 left. Oof. Pena looking to take the back now. Pennington back to her feet. But this is what you want to see from Pena. Is to continue to work. She's climbing up the back now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And she's got the body lock. Clock's ticking down now. Pena's got to do something under a minute left. Boy, and this is where the fight could be dominated by Pena. That's what I figured would happen, is Pena would dominate the control time. And we're finally starting to see it. Pennington just carrying Pena right now. Come on, Pena, let's go. Let's go. She's not doing anything with it, though, man. That clock strike went down. Dang. And can either of these two be Kayla Harrison? You know, it's going to be very technical, but I think Kayla Harrison is more powerful than everybody in the division. This is the title fight right now, but we all know Kayla Harrison's coming. And you just hear throughout the crowd the rumblings, the slight boos, they're ready to they're ready to go. They're ready to go crazy. Like they're ready for something big to happen. And you're just sitting around and it's not happening. We're in the fourth fight of the main card. Not a lot to cheer about. And I can imagine if I was there, I'd be going crazy too. I'd be like, let's go, man. We need something. Forget all these decisions. Someone do something. And now all of a sudden the odds are coming back to even, right? 29-29 and significant strikes. Paying you with three minutes of control in that round. And we'll see if uh, Paying you wants to take the fight back to the ground. Round three underway. And didn't I tell you I was ready for eight rounds in the first two fights if the last fight ends in round one? You know, we'll have to wait and see if it does. But Now, if this goes to a decision and Pareta <laughs> Roundtree goes to a decision, which doesn't even seem fathomable, forget about it. Both fighters beginning to open up now. They're utilizing the jab a lot more. And Pennington in great shape, showing no, you know, negative signs from round two, where she had to carry the weight of Pena for like a minute. Pena now retreating a little bit. Rocky starting to move forward. Ooh, nice left-right combo by Rocky. And it's not even like there's a lot of respect for each other. I'm sure there is on some level, but both fighters are trying to get finishes here. Big leg kick by Pennington. And a right by Pena. It's just not happening. Nice combo by Pena, left, right. Women's band and weight division. To me, even with Pennington as champ, or if Pena wins it, is totally wide open. 
it's totally wide open. I mean, this is the early days since Amanda Nunez retired, right? Dominant champion forever, lost to Pena, beat Pena, got it back. Won another one and rode off into the sunset. And now the division is wide open. Someone's going to eventually emerge as a more dominant champion. Another takedown by Pena, that's huge. Boy, and Pena pounding away now with the left. A little more aggressive here on the ground. And you see Pennington take a deep breath. Two takedowns, three attempts. Timing it up right. Pennington showed she can get up. But these minutes are piling up, headed towards four minutes of control time. Pena leads uh, in significant strikes and is up 13 in head strikes. That's really where it's at. So you're, you got a comfortable lead in head strikes. You're dominating the ground game over four minutes of control. And things are going your way right now. So Pennington's got to take some chances. But it's very tough against uh, Pena because when you do that, she can finish you. Pena looking to take the back now. Got the legs wrapped around once again. She's going to try to pull her back down, and she does. Look at this. Look at this. Body triangle locked in. And even if you can't get the finish here, you just got to continue pounding, continue building, do something with it. Under a minute now, round three. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. She's trying to get it. 40 seconds left. Gosh, she's underneath. Oh, but she's got the chin down just enough. Oh, Pennington's going to pull off. Nice. Pennington stays in it. It looked like she was in trouble. All right, so this fight's starting to go the way I figured it would with Pena dominating the ground and winning it that way. May not get the finish, but dominating on the ground. That'll do it for round three. Six rounds in the books in the big three. Six rounds in the books. No finishes. And even if even if Pennington loses here by decision, it, it still shows that uh, she's durable, right? Like she's not just going in there and getting whooped, but she's just having a tough time dealing with the pressure of Pena. You know, it's kind of even on the feet. Pena's landing a little bit more head strikes, but it's kind of even on the feet. But the difference maker is Pena is just dominating in control time. So that's going to get her probably two rounds to one right now, heading into the fourth. Especially when you're leading in head strikes. I don't think it's 3-0, more likely 2-1. And what you're probably going to see here from Pena is the same story. You're going to see a minute or two of striking. She's going to look for that opportunity and take Pennington right back to the ground where she showed she can just control. 520 of control, two takedowns, three attempts. Not two takedowns. Oh, big leg kick by Pennington. Pennington a little bit of trouble here. Now Pennington lands a left-right combo. But a big leg kick by Pennington to open the, open the round up. Pennington with a little bit more sense of urgency, but she just got to be careful of the impending takedown that's coming. Or at least the attempt. But I look a lot like the uh, Leon Edwards kick, too. Oh, big right by Pena. Pennington is tough, man. 
Jeez. Come on, Pena, let's go. Pennington's taking over on the feet a little bit. Big right by Pena. If Pennington can finish his fight on the feet and not get taken down again, she can still win. Pena needs to land a takedown and take control. But this round is ticking away. 315 left. Yeah, the jab's starting to really work for uh, Pennington now. And you see Pena going up and down, just looking for that takedown, waiting for the right time. When you see Pennington, like, lands, jab, jab, right, boom. Ducks the big punch by Pena, comes right back, beam, beam. Like, she's on point on the feet. And when she's on the feet, she starts to pull away a little bit, although Pena's got 52 head strikes. A big right there by Pena, or Pennington. And what we're witnessing is, oh, big right by Pennington. Pena goes down. Ooh, baby. And here comes Pennington. Crowd's loving this. And this is a big turn of events as you're starting to see Pennington now really rise up here in the championship rounds. And we're likely going into round five. Even. And Pennington made a little mistake here. She had Pena on the ropes and went down to the ground to try to get the finish, which was, which was a mistake because now Pena's got it tied up and is recovering. So. All right, Pennington shoves off. Here we go. 115 left, round four. Pennington definitely winning this round. Likely will be 2 2 going into the fifth. Maybe. It's funny because Pennington is taking punches coming in, but it's like it doesn't even phase her. So in rounds two and three, it was kind of close on significant strikes, but I give the edge to Pena on the takedown game. Round one, Pena also led 23-20. It could be 3 nothing, which is hard to say. But Pennington's going to win this round. And then if you're the corner of Pennington, what do you say? I mean, I think you got to win the round, and you either got to win it big, or you got to get the finish. So we'll be listening to see what kind of instructions they give her. There's a tap, final 10, round four. Oh, big left by Pennington to finish the round, and that was a great round for the champ. Starting off with the uh, leg kick up top, and then the right, she just caught her. Boom, got everything into that one too. Pennington never saw it coming. But... Pena goes down to her back. Pennington comes in, goes down with her. Big mistake. Big mistake. Just let her back up. Because what happened is Pennington gave Pena a chance to recover. Pennington's certainly capable <clears throat> excuse me, of finishing this fight. Pena, Pena breathing really hard in the corner. Her corner is getting her pumped up. And at some point in this round, she's going to have to take control of the fight once again. She's not going to beat Pennington on the feet. 
especially in round five. So a lot of strategy here with the belt on the line in the final round. Crowd cheering a little bit. They want to see something happen. And they've seen it before. They've seen long fights with a big fifth round finish. I mean, it's no, no stranger to Salt Lake. So we'll see if we get one here. Pennington opens up with a big left. Now it's Payne with a left. Yeah. I'm letting it go too. I'm with DC on that one. DC saying she should just let it go. And that's what I think too. Yep. Potential 10-8, they're saying, in round four. At least uh, people on X, I don't know. I don't think it was that dominant. But listen, we've seen some wild stuff tonight from the judges. No one really knows what to expect if this thing goes to a decision. I mean, for all we know, it could be 50-45, to 45, right? I mean, there was a fight earlier. Carlos Sparza. Terrible decision. In which a fight that she won. And he had a judge go 30 27 the other way. She ended up losing a fight. I mean, it was crazy. Pain, you're looking a lot slower. Not that she was ever fast, but just a lot slower than she did earlier in the fight. And this is the time when she needs it the most. So when you start slowing down, the legs get tired. The takedown game is even tougher to get. They come together and Pennington just looks uh, a lot stronger right now. Pennington just getting tired. Under three minutes in the fight. Boom, big right by Pennington. Ooh-wee. Dang, Pena, you're falling apart. Yep. Whew. It's just when you see these things, you, you just, when you go back to rounds one, two, and three, you don't know how the judges are going to look at it. Pena could have won all three of those rounds. Or she could have won two out of three. And that's what's gonna the fight's gonna come down to, because I think Pennington's gonna win rounds four and five. And you you'd figure she's gonna get one other round. But there were no rounds where Pennington was an obvious winner in the first three. Yeah, big right by Pennington. All the power is still with her. Boom. Nice punch to the body by Pennington. And Payne is reeling. Payne is smart. She just keeps, or Pennington smart. She just keeps the pressure. Keep the pressure. Ooh, big left, right by Payne. Where'd that come from? Yeah, Pen Pennington up by six significant strikes here. Outpacing Pena in the last two. Which is just crazy, right? And what I told you is Pena needs to finish. Pennington needs a decision. And uh, we'll see if that still holds true. I thought Pena would get the finish. Doesn't seem likely that's going to happen. Pennington just getting stronger. It's crazy. Takes a deep breath, but he hasn't slowed down a bit. Whew, big left by Pennington. And as soon as that takedown game slipped away from Pena as she got tired, and you can now no longer shoot, your legs are getting tired, you're forced to stand and strike, Pennington has taken over. Big right by Pennington. At least his fights had some action. Pennington up now. 95 to 80 in significant strikes. Boom, big right by Pennington. 
There's a tap. Final 10. Pena comes back with a left. Here we go, baby. Ooh, baby. Boom. Big right by Pennington. Yep. And, hey, we were right. We were prepared for eight rounds to start this thing, and we got it. Dang. That was a long fight. And I'll tell you right now, something is seriously wrong if Pereira and Roundtree don't, someone don't get a finish there. This will turn out to be a terrible night. Beam. Ooh. Boom. Yeah, pe <sighs> both of them threw with power. Pennington just don't seem like she has that KO power. Pennington seems like it's there. I mean, it was basically Pennington thrived off the takedowns. And once that energy started to fade in round four, you really started to see the difference in the power because Pennington was landing some big shots. I mean, big shots. Beam. So... As we await the decision, here's the stats, okay? Pennington, 125 to 103 in total strikes. She also led in significant strikes, 101 to 84. Head strikes, Pena still held on there, 82 to 78, so very close. And she was way up after round three. She had two takedowns, 540 of control. Both of those came in the second and third round. So really, to me, it's all about round one. And when you have fights like this, it always goes back to the to the weirdest round. <clears throat> the most insignificant round decides it. And that was the first round when they were just feeling each other out. And it was basically even at that point, but I have a feeling Pennington's going to get to win. Here we go. Possible split. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Pena looks nervous. Here we go. Come on, Pena. Come on, Pena. It's going to be split for the title. 48 47, Pennington. Or Pena, now Pennington. Final judge. Oh my God, 48-47. Close. Round one, I'm telling you. And... No! Yeah! Pena stole the belt and Pennington cannot believe it. She cannot believe it. Very close fight. And they hug it out and they know how close that fight was. But Juliana Pena just stole the belt. And I know people get crazy when I say that. But when you're the contender and you win, you stole the belt, right? Because you got to steal the belt when you beat the champ. That's just how I feel. So Juliana Pena gets the win. That's the way it goes down here. Women's Bantamweight division, new champion at UFC 307.